So Greg Roman responded. And he did a little capping on Lamar. So it made me think. Let me do a little research on Greg Roman. Alright, so if you haven't already, hit that subscribe for your boy. Now, I did me a little just a little just just a little research on Greg Roman. So press conference they asked him about Lamar and what Lamar said. Then like my video earlier today, Nick Wright has said he has a source with the Ravens who's saying Greg Roman is a problem. Then Hollywood's tweet about soldiers. And I'm like, man, this can kind of get a little toasty. A little toasty up in the Ravens organization at the castle. So I was like, let me do a little, little background check. Because he brought up, Greg Roman brought up two Hall of Famers saying, you know, they call out the plays. You can just YouTube Ray Lewis, every talking about studying the tape. They both Hall of Famers, Defensive Players of the Year, Super Bowl champions. Then they also asked, what about audibles? Greg Roman comes and says, some quarterback call audibles. Sometimes it work. Sometimes it don't. We're in the we're in the middle. We're in the middle. And I'm thinking, I don't really remember seeing Lamar call a lot of audibles. We know he's not gonna call a lot of audibles like Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning was his own offense coordinator. So, he said that. I was like, okay, that was a little jab. Then he did it to me. He did just a lot of, just a lot of blabbing. And I'm like, dude, get to the point. So, I'm like, Lamar hasn't played a lot of Hall of Famers like a Ed Reed, Ray Lewis. There's no one in the game that's on their level like that. Right now. Those was one timers like Palomalu and all those. Those are one time in, in a lifetime. Then a reporter said about the running is down. Well, they have the highest percentage of when having a first down, they automatically run. He really didn't have an answer for that. So I was like, let me go and do a little, just a little research. So the first thing I found was when Greg Roman was a 49ers. And the article, I'm gonna short term it, Frank Gore was averaging 7.5 yards a carry when they was playing against the Indianapolis Colts at one, at one moment. But his touches dropped off a cliff later that game. Where have we seen this before it happened? Was it the Chargers? Was it the Titans? Just completely stop running the ball. Even when the, the point deficit was not that big. Completely ran off the cliff. In this article it says Frank Gore had 70 yards on the ground. only received two carries in the second half. So the first half, he had 70 yards. Hmm. 
And then in the second half, they he no longer ran the ball. Very interesting. Then it talks about third down, how he is insufficient. That's another article I found. And I'm like, dang, this is linking so much with the present day. And that was with the 49ers. I'm going to get to when he was with the Bills. That right there, I'm like, goodness, it's like deja vu, but with a different team. Or am I just tripping? Then I read another article when he was with the 49ers. And this one, this one had me a little nervous. This one had me a little nervous. It said the 49ers had to revisit the, their offensive scheme to let their quarterback grow. If not, no chance. And this is when they had Kaepernick play similar style like Lamar. And on this article, one thing it says is that on the on Roman's biggest fault this season was his inability to go the extra mile to put the quarterback in a position to succeed. Lamar right now is not succeeding the way we know he can without that person handcuffing him. As someone said in my comments, putting the training wheels on him. So I was like, okay, I know about the 49ers. That 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 story. So let me go to a more more recent story about 2015. That's not that that far off. Where he was a Buffalo Bill. Rex Ryan was their coach. And that's when the Bills had Sammy Watkins, LaShawn McCoy, Charles Clay. I'm like, that's when they had some, some weapons. Then I started thinking, let me think about what we have compared to what they have. So Sammy Watkins, I will put with Hollywood. Then Charles Clay, I will put Mark Andrews. Then LaShawn McCoy, I can go with J.K. or Gus. So in 2015, they had a pretty good year. Sammy Watkins, 60 catches, 1,047 yards. Charles Clay had a good season, LaShawn McCoy. 895 yards receiving 292 yards good 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 pretty good year for him then we look 2016 all of them players that had a previous good year offense coordinator greg roman could not give them the ball he could not call plays to give them the ball I'm like, if that isn't 2020, where we had a pretty good year last year, awesome year last year. And this year, the offense is just, just not clicking. Still winning games, but the offense is just not clicking the way it should be. So I was like, you know what? I don't know why. Greg Roman was fired from the Bills because I read an article saying Rex Ryan didn't even know he was getting let go. So it showed right here. That the offense that finished first in the league rushing last season and had a number of starters coming back that they had from last season. Now this is the Bills. C 
could not engineer any long scoring drives or give the defense a chance to rest. Oh, this is like so familiar. And it's like crazy to me. He's literally like in a Groundhog Day, like the movie, but on a different team, the same thing is continually happening. You have one good year. Then you have a bad year. So will Harbs have someone help fix that? He kept talking about tendencies. And his tendencies are already played out. Even when I can go back to the 49ers. He was with the 49ers. And what surprised me was 2013. And this is when they had Kaepernick. They had the 32nd ranked passing offense. And where are we at right now for us passing? This dude continually, he had the 49ers flop there. With, had the Bills pretty much identical to what we have right now for his M3 I named. He didn't give them the ball. He had to go. Then we have publicity right now with everybody's talking about Greg Roman with Lamar calling him out, Hollywood calling him out. Then anonymous source, Nick Wright said, calling him out. Brandon Marshall calling him out. This dude, the spotlight is on you, man. So, this Sunday, we play the Patriots. Sunday night. I already put my predicament. I already did my preview. So, hopefully, y'all check that out. But one thing I'm going to look for now is that I'm going to see when we get first down, is he automatically going to run the ball all the time? Because they said right now we have the highest percentage. And also, I'm going to see if he's going to get more creative in that passing game. Because from what Flacco did to them, with engraving boy Perryman, we should do some work. We should do some work. So, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Y'all tell me what you think. This is just keeps getting interesting. That's the only reason I keep doing it because he did a little cap back. I'm still shocked on that. He did a lot of blabbing, but he did a little cap back. But everybody stay safe. God bless.